everyone and welcome back to my channel finally i have a ferret related video for you today i wanted to specifically go over what i have been feeding my ferrets as of late this is an updated list of all the foods and treats that i have been feeding them i'm always getting asked what new foods am i feeding the ferrets what have i been feeding them lately my favorite raw food brands my favorite supplements and so on so this video is going to contain all of that to start I do feed my ferrets raw if you're new here. I have so many videos on the subject and I also have a book on my Teespring store called Feeding Ferrets Naturally, which I really recommend that you check out if feeding raw is something that you're interested in because it should answer most of your questions. Um, I feed raw for a variety of reasons. The biggest ones being it is the most natural diet for the ferret it does not contain unnecessary carbohydrates fillers grains raw diets should not contain any plant toxins mycotoxins glyphosate anti-nutrients it is a very very natural diet and should support the ferret in every way it helps keep them hydrated improves digestion oral health immunity it's very anti-inflammatory more and more each year we are coming out with more research and more studies that prove that because um, one of the issues that we raw feeders experience is that it is very lacking in scientific research published studies because it doesn't really benefit anyone to prove that raw feeding is better for them when for humans it is well known that a minimally processed diet low sugar low carb and um, high in bioavailable foods pet world is still very very behind our animals lifespans are decreasing with each year and we are experiencing a lot more chronic diseases obesity dental problems, cardiovascular. I have sampled a bunch of companies over the years of feeding raw. And I do currently right now source my food for them online because it is just the most convenient for me. My absolute most favorite top raw food company is My Pet Carnivore. I've talked about them in the past. They are so, so, so amazing. I've been begging them to hire me <laughs> because I have gotten so many people onto my pet carnivore. Um, they're, the quality of their product is just unlike anything that I've ever seen um, and their variety, their selection of proteins also. If you have a pet with allergies, protein allergies, you will probably find something that they can have on their website and this is again really helpful with my ferret momo who is allergic to a lot of hooped animals it can kind of make it hard to source uh, locally for her but thanks to them she's able to eat beaver and muskrat and all of these amazing proteins that she wouldn't be able to have otherwise very nutrient dense proteins i love these grinds because they contain pretty much everything that your ferret will need on a daily basis in each grind. I mean, they're all different, which is really nice as well. But for example, I have the rabbit here and the rabbit contains rabbit meat, bones, heart, liver, kidneys, and lungs, which is a great variety. So I kind of cycle through chicken, turkey, duck, rabbit, pork, um, their fish that they have, muskrat, beaver i kind of cycle through they're pretty quick to ship out here to new york i put in an order almost every month i can usually go a little bit longer than every month and i'll kind of put on the screen here what my orders normally look like and it can seem a little expensive keep in mind some of that is shipping costs and investment and my animals are very happy and very healthy on this food i don't have to go to the vet as often their teeth look great so no need for dental scalings or anything like that we are fortunate obviously to be living in an area that isn't super super high cost so that we can afford this but we do work really hard and make it a priority personally but anyways now we kind of move on to another big part of their diet and that is raw eggs ideally you want to get farm fresh organic pasture because those are going to be the best and you can always save the shell to grind up into powder to make a really nice calcium powder but i would not do that for grocery store eggs because they tend to be kind of sprayed and coated with things that you don't want your pet to consume so just keep that in mind but eggs are amazing they are a very bioavailable source of nutrition for ferrets and what that means is just the nutrients are easy to process absorb and utilize by the ferret i consider them a nutrient nutrient powerhouse and I feed them a couple times per week maybe two or three depending on how often they're shedding and how much they're shedding but I'm not too strict with the amount that I feed and they love 
eggs so much. I do feed both the yolk and the whites and I mix them up. As long as they're eating both the yolk and the whites, it will be perfectly fine. There are a lot of people online that say you cannot feed egg whites to your ferrets and that is a myth um, as long as they are not just eating the whites um, and they're not doing it all the time you're gonna be fine. <laughs> There's no issue. And I also really, really love them as hairball preventatives because they actually work to break down hair in the stomach, as you may or may not know. Ferrets cannot vomit up hairballs like cats can. It actually has to go through their entire digestive system and it's a very, very tiny digestive system. Hair blockages can be fairly common. We actually experienced that with Remy when we first brought him into our home. He pretty much immediately had a hair blockage before I was able to get him onto raw and eggs. So that was not fun to go through. He needed surgery. It was a long recovery process. These can greatly, greatly, greatly minimize the risk of hairball. I have never experienced a hairball issue with any of my other ferrets in the years that I've had them because I've been feeding eggs and I will never not feed eggs. Next, I'm gonna be talking about a kind of newer product that I've been feeding and that is this salmon oil by Iceland Pure. I got this off the hair today website. Now normally I like to feed fresh fish, frozen fish, um, to supply those fatty acids um, and it's very anti-inflammatory, but however this time of year in the winter it can be hard to go out to the fish market in my area it's kind of far away instead of not feeding any fish at all i like to get something like this and then they've also been kind of a little bit picky with the fish that i've been sourcing online the next thing that i want to talk about is homemade and that is bone broth i have been talking about bone broth for quite some time i've been trying to get y'all on this because bone broth is worth all the hype for both humans and people um, and it's so easy to make at home full of amino acids it really helps keep your ferrets hydrated especially important if you feed a dry diet even if you're feeding like a freeze-dried raw diet they are very 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 low in moisture and the diet the natural diet of a ferret raw diets contain a lot of moisture so um, they're not used to eating such dry foods. They are used to getting a lot of their water and moisture from the meats that they eat in the wild. So when we're not giving that, ferrets tend to be chronically dehydrated and you'll see issues over time in their kidneys and pretty much all their major organs. When you're dehydrated, everything just starts to go downhill. So bone broth is a really, really easy way to add hydration and it's pretty flavorless, at least in my opinion, if you're not adding spices and, and flavorings, which you shouldn't be for ferrets. In my opinion, it isn't super difficult to get ferrets to eat it. I just put it right into their food and it's really hard to overdose on bone broth. I have a bunch of resources on how to make bone broth on my website. I believe I probably have instructions in my book as well. And then on my Instagram pages as well. Next product that we are going to be talking about is probably one of my most favorite supplements for animals and people honestly ever and that is medicinal mushrooms and the new brand that i'm trying out is called ferapet and i really really like this one because it's all organic it's made with 100 percent the whole fruiting bodies no mycelium grains fillers and it has a large variety of organic mushrooms in it the best kind of mushroom supplement that you could give your ferrets is one that contains a bunch of different ones um it just is that much more powerful. This one I really, really like, and the ferrets have no issue taking this as well. And honestly, I love this. I've tried a bunch of mushroom products, and this is easily my most favorite. I'll show you what it kind of looks like. And it smells so good. I always think that my medicinal mushrooms smell like chocolate, like hot cocoa powder. Oh, it smells so good. I really like this and I will continue to use this. There are so many studies and a lot of research backing medicinal mushrooms for use in animals and people. It really helps the immune system and is very anti-inflammatory. So it is used in a lot of anti-cancer, anti-aging routines for people and pets. But if I had to pick kind of one powdered supplement product to keep my animals on all the time, it would probably be medicinal mushrooms. That's how much I like them. I also have probiotic. This is my favorite probiotic. However, I do believe that Ferapet has a probiotic too that I would probably want to try next, but I'm still using Nature's Bounty Probiotic 10. This is one that I've been using for years now, and it is just awesome because the majority of your immune system is in your gut, and when your gut is kind of out of whack, whether it be from, and if your ferret's guts are out of whack, could be from 
vaccination, pest control, change of environment, poor diet, pretty much anything can kind of set your ferrets off balance. Probiotics are really, really great for that. They also, this one too, contains prebiotics too. So probiotics, the live bacteria, cannot survive without having some sort of food source, and that is what the prebiotic is. I know a lot of people kind of tend to shy away from probiotic products because they contain kind of like some plant ingredients in it, but that is simply to feed the bacteria so they don't die. That being said though, it is kind of unsure how much um, of the bacteria actually makes it to the gut because processing and storage procedures and then actually going through your ferret's stomach acid, which is very, very strong um, because it's needed to process raw meat, it can be kind of hard to determine how much it's making through. Um, but I have seen a lot of positive results in my ferrets. I've used it a lot in times of digestive upset and distress. That being said though, for a source of live probiotics, a lot easier for the bacteria to actually get to the gut. I use Answers raw goat's milk. Now I know what you may be thinking. A lot of people really, really do not think that you should be giving your ferrets raw goat's milk. That opinion is totally valid. However, I have done a lot of research and I've been doing pet nutrition, ferret nutrition for quite a few years now. And a lot of the things that I've read kind of discouraging the use of goat's milk for ferrets, the arguments don't really seem very solid. It does contain a lot of bioavailable nutrition and it does have less lactose than cow's milk. Granted, it's not by a lot, but the structure of the fats in the milk is also a lot different from cow's milk, so it, it makes it a lot easier to digest. It's got a lot of enzymes in there. Again, you have the live probiotics, and, and my ferrets have been taking goat's milk just fine. They have no issue with it. Of course, there will be ferrets out there that can be sensitive to goat's milk, and I really, really like goat's milk. I love goat's milk for myself, raw goat's milk. I love goat's milk for my animals, and I do plan on making an entire blog post dedicated to raw goat's milk. Um, once I have the time. So another product that I have been adding just kind of during the change of season, especially going into winter months in the cold season, Brian and I both had COVID. So this was something that I was relying on a little bit and that is vitamin C. Um, this is the product that I use because it does contain rose hips as well. So vitamin C, as we all know, is a antioxidant powerhouse. It is very, very good for the body and it is water soluble. So um, any excess is going to go right out. That being said, you shouldn't give a ton of vitamin C, of course, but it does help protect against free radical damage. Now, um, giving vitamin C in an oral form is not as effective as other forms, um, but my ferrets are not sick or anything, so I just use a little bit here and there to help with their immunity against colds just because the season has been, I don't know, everyone's been sick, but I don't feed it every day, even though vitamin C is not found in large amounts in meats, it is still there in organ meats and it should be enough for the ferret. Um, that being said, vitamin E is something that isn't always found in sufficient amounts in meat. And based on my research and the research that other people have done, a lot of ferrets tend to be kind of deficient in vitamin E. So I do one drop per ferret every couple days and they are obsessed with it. They love this so much. I use it to help with nail trimming. Um, no issues giving this to them at all. And I've been doing it for quite a few years now and I really, really like it. it helps uh, with their immunity as well. Again, it's an antioxidant, but that is another thing that I really, really like. Um, if you were to take anything from this video aside from the raw food, I would say vitamin E and medicinal mushrooms. Not if you're feeding, if you're feeding kibble, you probably don't need to do additional vitamin E. Um, however, if you feed kibble, you can likely do medicinal, medicinal mushrooms on top of that, but just something to keep in mind. And then another newish product that I've been feeding recently is the Alnutrin um, meat and bone powder. This is recommended by a lot of raw food companies if you feed grinds, which is what My Pet Carnivore is, Hair Today, Raw Feeding Miami, um, those ground up has the meat, bone, and organ in it because it is known that during the grinding process, taurine does seep out of the meat into the liquids during processing. And if those liquids are not immediately added back in, um, there is a loss of taurine. Now, I have never had an issue, um, nor anyone that I know who feeds grinds and does not feed all nutrient powder or taurine powder, but 
is kind of a, a precaution. It also contains some trace nutrients that I have not been able to give them recently, which I normally give in shellfish and again fish. Just something that I like to do, especially since my ferrets are getting older. Okay, next. I have apple cider vinegar. I swear by this stuff, you guys. This is apple cider vinegar, organic, raw, unfiltered with the mother. You're gonna wanna pick one that has that because you'll see all those little gunk at the bottom is the good bacteria in it. I use this to make bone broth, but I also do a couple splashes. I'll mix it up with some water first because it is very strong, um, sometimes in their food. And again, they do get it in their bone broth so good for immunity but especially helps alleviate itchy skin in the winter months um, if their ears are getting a little itchy from excess oil buildup changing of seasons and their coats are shedding they can be really itchy i find that it helps a lot for that um lastly i'm going to talk about treats because I do like to do puzzle games with them, snuffle mats. I find that really helps enrichment, stimulates their brains. Having healthy treats is really important too. So I like to do just freeze dried basic meat treats. These are 100% real chicken treats, just freeze dried cubes. And it's by Simply Nourish. I really like this particular chicken treat. My, all of my ferrets love it, which is very rare. They don't typically love treats, um, but it's literally just chicken. And I also do like pure bites on occasion as well. And this is the white fish. And it's also single ingredient, freeze dry. These are very, very stinky treats. So Alphonse likes them kind of more than the ferrets do. But there's also that. Yeah, I'm talking about you. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a thing or two about what I feed my ferrets. Hopefully it gives you some ideas, especially if you're another fellow raw feeder out there. If, if you still feed kibble, I do recommend going through my ferret education raw nutrition playlist to learn a little bit more about uh, why I feed raw and why I do not personally recommend feeding ferrets kibble. And on a final note, I do totally understand that so many raw feeders out there, especially in the ferret world, typically tend to be pretty rigid in their beliefs. Do not believe in feeding any kind of supplements of any kind and that is totally fine i respect your opinion i do like to do what i can um, to prevent issues down the line because we all know that ferrets tend to be kind of health catastrophes medical catastrophes um, especially as they age and if they're bred poorly which a lot of them are in the states in canada where they come from animal mills but anyways i will see you guys in my next video and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day bye